dears and welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Pamela and today is day three of my one palette for a week series if you missed day one and day two they will be linked down below for you guys if you want to go check them out um, today I wanted to do obviously something completely different from day one and day two I wanted to attempt a cut crease now I've never done a cut crease before and oh my gosh cut crease was hard in my opinion it was so difficult for me and it took me quite some time to create this look and it doesn't even look like it took me that long does it but it totally did I worked really hard for this look and I keep looking at myself in the monitor because I can't stop staring at how beautiful this look came out and I totally now understand the hype of a cut crease so uh, I'm gonna quit my babbling and let's just get right into this yes as always, I'm going to start with priming my eyes. I am going to prime one eye at a time and then set it with that lovely, lovely white shade in the palette. Now I'm going to go into this like sort of uh, flesh tone caramel-y color and I'm going to take this on a Makeup Geek soft dome brush and I'm basically just going to focus this color right above that crease. Now I'm going to go into sort of this like neutrally brown color and I'm going to place this just slightly, slightly lower than that first color. And without any additional product, I'm taking my brush and sort of making that little flick that you see in a normal cut crease. Now I'm gonna go into the color in the, literally the center of the palette, which is like a really pretty reddish brown. And I'm gonna use a Makeup Geek pointed crease brush and I'm going to literally place this color a little bit like lower than the first two. And I'm keeping my eye really, really relaxed so that I could see where this cut crease is going to be. And again, with whatever's left over on the brush, I'm just sort of winging that out. Then I'm going to go back in with that first brush and just blend things out. Now I'm going to go into this um, very deep brown in the palette, and I am going to slightly lift my eyes, like literally like the tiniest bit, and I'm going to place this right above where my actual crease right here is. Then I'm gonna go back in with the pointed crease brush and blend things out. Now I'm gonna go into this super duper deep dark like espresso color on a Makeup Geek pencil brush and even lower, just place that right there. Going it back in with my last brush and blending it out. Take my fluffy setting brush and just go around the edges here. I'm gonna make it nice and Okay, now I'm gonna cut the crease and this is the part I'm like the most nervous about because this can either make it or break it. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and I've just applied it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take this little BH Cosmetics brush and from what I have seen, the trick is to sort of Place a little bit of concealer on your eyelid, open up your eyelid, and where you see that top little mark is where you're supposed to cut your crease. So here we go. Okay, one down. It took forever, you guys. Without 
any additional product, I'm going to go into that pointed crease brush again and just slightly blend this edge out just a little bit. I do want a little bit of a satin like um, eyelid so I'm going to go into this like sort of flesh tone satin color and I'm just going to place a little bit of this on the lid. Beautiful. I don't know if I want to do eyeliner yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my face and uh, when all my face is done, I'll decide whether or not this look deserves eyeliner. So, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line and then after I finish my lower lash line, I will decide whether or not it needs eyeliner. Um, so the first shade I'm going to go into is sort of this neutral brown tone and I'm going to take this on a flat definer brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number 10 brush and I'm basically just going to place this on the lower lash line. Change my brush to the small crease brush because that flat definer brush was just giving me way too much fallout. And then I'm going to go into sort of this um, coffee brown color here and I'm just going to place a little bit of that on the outer corner. And I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner just to see what this looks like. I'm going to start with just a basic line first and then I'm going to do probably a really tiny wing. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do the other one off camera just to just to not mess this whole look. Okay, up. so the wings are not perfect and they don't match, but um, I'm I'm liking it. I like the way that the wings look um, with this look. So let's let's just keep going. For inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna use that same shade I used all over my lid. I'm just gonna pack it really really heavy in that inner corner. And whatever's left over, I'm just gonna put it on the brow bone. Now I'm going to add a ton of mascara. That's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed day three of my one palette for a week series. Um, if you're curious on my lips, I've got the color pop lippy stick in the shade of fab five. This was a limited edition lippy stick. I'm so sorry about that, but any sort of red or cranberry like color would look beautiful with this look. Um, let me know what you guys really think about this cut crease. I tried really hard and I am looking for real critique on it. Um, you know, maybe more tips or tricks. I'm always open to all of that, but, um, I'm excited for day four. I'm going to keep going. Um, obviously I've only got two days left, so why not finish strong and uh, yeah if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup and I will see you guys tomorrow bye bye